you get on the ground, you get a group of guys organized, you're trying to, you know, get everybody together. You, you, the first thing depicted uh, action that day in, in Band of Brothers is taking out the 105s. We've got a battery of 105s right. that's just shelling the hangout of our guys right. on the beach. Right. You take a handful of guys and go up right. to take the 105s out. Seven guys, yes. yes. Seven guys right. against an entrenched German position yeah. of four 105s, yeah. Yeah. machine guns. Right. It, it, it worked out to roughly seven, eight, nine, ten more to, to every man that we had. It was hard to tell they were in trenches and it's a little hard to judge just how many men you were up. I know that a uh, a unit for, for 105s, if you look at the table of contents in a German manual, and we didn't know this until after the war, uh, but if you looked at a uh, manual, uh, you'll find that uh, a manual for uh, a 105 unit is about 130 men. Well, I'm not saying that we faced 130 men because there was men that were support support positions, ammunition carriers and rear echelon carriers. But the men that we were facing on the line, yes, it was about seven, eight, nine men for everyone we had. But I hit him on the flank. And that meant that I was taking them on one position at a time. And uh, in doing that, uh, I could use the few guns that I had to uh, create superior firepower and then rush one at a time. And that was, that's how it worked out. The D Company uh, represented men had been sent up before, as you know from reading the book. Uh, uh, they tried to take on this position, but they tried to make a frontal attack. And that didn't go very far. Uh, but I had, before we kicked this thing off, I had gone off by myself and crawled up there close enough to scout it. And uh, I thought I found the trench and I found that I knew from training that take it on from the flank. This is part of your training. It is not something that you're dreaming up and creating on the spur of the moment. This is all part of the training that's kicking in. So. Uh, it's not, this doesn't say that you're brilliant, you made a brilliant decision here. Well, it can't be too bad of a decision. It's still being taught. And, uh, yeah, it is. So it must have been, a, in my mind, a brilliant plan, brilliantly carried out, well executed. Your casualties were, yeah, I mean, yeah. this is unbelievable compared to yeah. the 60 yeah. to 70, uh, yeah. 80 Germans that yeah. you were attacking in That's entrenched right. positions. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't help but wonder whether Lipton thought second, had a second thought about being up in that tree and being <laughs> exposed. Uh, yeah, he was supposed to protect the right flank and sent him and Ranny out there and protect the right flank and uh, uh, it ended up he crawled up this tree. As you go back there today and look at the tree, the tree is now 60 years old, you know, older than 60 years is, and it's dead. And it's huge, big, but at the time he crawled up it, it was a young tree, and the branches were weak, and so he had trouble getting up there with the branches bending and so forth. It was quite a job to get up there and get a position that he had observation out over the field. Well, I, I don't think you give yourself enough credit, Dick, on the planning, and I don't think the movie depicted that you you know, went up on your own, re reconned the, the area, crawled planned. back the trench. Uh, but a lot of that credit for the successful capture of those guns goes to your pre-planning, to your, to your common sense, to your initiative, to your ability to command the troops. That particular event, you were put in for the Medal of Honor for. Yes. And my understanding in reading the book was the only reason you didn't get it was because there was only one per Division. One per division, right. Well, uh, 
as I go back, uh, the uh, I give the the credit to the training we had to prepare us for it, for this, and uh, uh, and the men that are with you. It's, it's the same thing with the men. They were prepared, and uh, so there's that relationship, close relationship we were talking about a few minutes ago, that bonding. Mm -hmm. And having gone through this train over this period of time over and over again, we didn't have to, you didn't have to stop and explain to them what you wanted. You told them what you want, and they immediately uh, knew what you were driving at and what the job was to be. So that, uh, here's where the training pays off. Yeah, working together as a team, working clicking, together. Clicking. Everybody knows what's expected, what and to do. Everybody is doing his job. Yeah, I, I like that do, part. You don't do it yourself. It takes everybody doing his job to get the thing done. The team. I, I like the comment in the book where you could tell which man it was at night by the shadow or by well, their well, outline. That's definitely. how well you knew people. Definitely. And that certainly that kind of training oh, yes. and expertise pays off. Definitely.